Since you all seem to really love my first collection of accessories for the new iPhone 11 and 11 Pro, I'm back with even more awesome accessories for you to splurge on. Let's call it 2.0. With a huge thanks to the Defense Brand for sponsoring this video. So let's check it out. Starting off with the Maid of Honor, introducing the Defense Brand Defense Vertical Dual Wireless Charger, a long name for quite a small package. It's made of a mixture of materials, starting with the aluminum frame for that sleek Iron Man vibe, some rubber padding to keep things from slip and sliding around while being charged, and a clean looking plate of leather that gives your device some cushioning while also looking fresher than your whole wardrobe. I'm a big fan of the clean cut edges, rectangular cutouts, and overall fairly slim design for charging multiple devices at once. This stock outputs 10 watts of power, enough to charge the new iPhone 11 Pros at its fastest capacity, with more than enough to spare thanks to the QC 3.0 USB power supply, you're even able to charge a third device through the USB port around back. So yeah, that means you can keep your new AirPods Pro charged and dock your iPhone 11 Pro to stay juiced up throughout the day. Plus, if you like to stay charged while watching your cute cat videos to fall asleep, you can also stay charged in landscape mode too. And to answer the obvious, yes, it works with cases too. To swing the deal, you can use my code XME20 to save 20% off this and any other gear from Defense Brand with the first link down below. Personally, I leave this on my bedside table, plug in the Apple Watch charger through its USB port, and I'm ready to go with my essentials the next morning without having to deal with any wires. Which is great, given how messy my whole table is already. <laughs> this simple flimsy TPU coated nylon flap will most definitely save you from having to pay for a new screen. The Black Rapid Wander Bundle may look like a tag I cut off my t-shirt, but it's actually really really sturdy. To set it up, it requires a case and sticking its little wiener inside the lightning port cutout of it. That alone keeps it from sliding out, but once the iPhone is installed, Trust me, it ain't going anywhere. It will almost make you question why you even bother going to the gym. Now with this little loop sticking out, you can use their included lanyard that comes with a mini but sturdy metallic clip. Then looping the nylon strap around your wrist and locking it in place, your iPhone is now that clingy boyfriend you can't get rid of, no matter how bad you smell. Combine it with their included carabiner with its dedicated lanyard slot to slide into, you can clip this onto a bag, your pants, or anything above ground level to avoid smacking your screen around. The best part is that it's reusable an infinite amount of times as it doesn't use any glue or tape. So if you swap phones or just want to ditch it for the day, you totally can. Plus, given how thin it actually is, the lightning port is still accessible too. The Black Rapid Wander Bundle adds an extra layer of protection to any case without adding any bulk to it whatsoever. This is a new Fuji Instax mini printer, the Link. It's a downgrade in feel, but an upgrade in every other aspect. They've simplified the whole process with a single button to turn on the device, a micro USB port to charge the printer, and just that back door to insert film. It does still take the Instax mini film and does equal to just under a dollar a photo, but you can't put a price on memories, am I right? Well, I guess you can, it's about a dollar each. One of my favorite upgrades is the link now connects through Bluetooth, making it a little slower to transfer files, but a thousand times easier to actually connect compared to previous models. Plus everything is now done in the new link app. And a fun little gimmick they incorporated is two modes you can switch between by either laying the printer flat for fun mode or straight up for regular print mode. Although both modes are accessible in app either way though. The app also offers a few new filters too, one being the match test. Pairing two photos together, both of you can answer a series of questions to see how compatible you are, or just let the app run a quick random diagnosis for some interesting results. There's also a range of collage frames too, and you can simply swipe up on the photo to pretend like you're flicking it towards the printer. But finally, my favorite mode, video print, where you can scrub through any video and pick a frame to print out. They've basically made it super easy to print out any type of photo you want without having any heavy editing or separate apps to download. To make it even easier, you can flip the whole thing upside down and click the Instax button to quickly reprint the last photo because sharing is caring. After about 90 seconds, images are fairly developed and they come out good enough for a keepsake. And that's all I can ask for, that I can tell what's a face and what's an animal. Fuji has made it more affordable, super easy to use now, and just a fun way to print with all these filters to choose from. Now Apple snuck up on us with this release, the new AirPods Pro. Basically identical in material design, it's gotten a little chubbier this time around. It has built-in wireless charging right out of the box and our in-ear earbuds. A very 
very welcome change for those who couldn't properly enjoy the original design because they weren't part of the 90% of ears out there. They now look much more alien-like, a little shorter on the stem. They've also ditched a tap to activate for a physical button you can now push, which I mucho prefer. And finally, they offer three different sized in-ear silicone tips, proprietary to Apple, of course. But thanks to them, you've got a few new controls on your iPhone, which you're now able to switch the noise control level as well as an ear tip fit test that'll basically tell you if your ear holes are too big for your own good. If you're like me and used to worry about using the toilet in fear of your ear pods falling out, well, these are a worthy upgrade because thanks to the silicone tips, these babies aren't going anywhere. <laughs> Now the noise cancelling isn't as good as say a pair of Bose headphones, but they're good enough to drown out the hums and haws around you. Plus the new transparency mode is pretty wicked because although your ears are pretty plugged up, the mics on the outside still allow for sound in and thanks to some voodoo magic, it relieves any pressure inside your ears so you don't get that plugged ear feeling. And finally, as a non-audiophile, these sound good enough. I can hear my music, my podcast, but most importantly, I don't have a fear of them falling out at random times anymore. Look, these aren't cheap, but if you want that seamless experience of taking them out and plugging them in, that's what you're paying for. Convenience. You can charge them through the lightning port, or if you're feeling lazy, you can use the wireless charging and your dedicated AirPods charging spot on your new dock. In conclusion, these are seamless to use, they drown out most noise, but not your annoying coworker's voice, and they actually fit in my ears. This black box is the opposite of fun and meant for those who carry around a bottle of Purell in their bag. The Phone Soap 3 is, as the name suggests, a phone cleaner. Made of plastic all around, you open the lid to reveal two beams of UV light covered by glass plates with a charging port cutout for those overnight sessions. This is perfect for those who suck at washing their hands or are just scared of touching anything on a public bus. Setting your phone inside and closing a lid to activate, the UV sanitizes and kills 99.99% of bacteria in about 10 minutes. Minutes. How the other 0.01% survive, I can't tell you. You can leave this at your desk for those rare moments you find a funny meme and share your phone with someone, or on your bedside table overnight for those Netflix and chill sessions. The inside is large enough for even the iPhone 11 Pro Max, but being dirty isn't exclusive to phones, as you can sanitize anything that'll physically fit inside too. This is a great gift for those who take their phones with them for their washroom adventures, myself included. Oh, this cute thing? It's a speaker. A really small speaker. The Anchor Soundcore Mini offers a whole speaker grill on one side with a soft rubber finish around the opposite for some solid gripping action. Buttons are lined throughout the top, lifted, and very clicky. When connected through Bluetooth, don't let its small size fool you, as this guy can output some noise. A tiny and super lightweight package. Plus, the included buttons on the speaker make it easy to control your phone and even activate Siri. Now, if you aren't convinced how small this actually is, here it is compared to a deck of playing cards. There's a single cover for the micro USB port, but also an aux input, but thanks to the thick gasket port cover, this baby is IP67 certified, which means it can be submerged underwater and live to play another Justin Bieber holiday song. And thanks to the small size, it's also super convenient to carry around with you, fitting inside my back pocket with ease, but you could also hang it with the included lanyard strap too. Finally, if you pair two simultaneously, you can play them in stereo audio. So for such a small package, it can pack some serious noise. This thing is a beast. Literally, it's called the Beast Grip Pro. And pro it is, as it's been used by professionals to shoot those fancy shot on iPhone videos that Apple promotes you're able to achieve too, and rightly so with this beast of a rig. It's adjustable all around to accommodate any size phone, along with a 37mm filter thread too. It's based off a spring-loaded clamp which allows full access to ports and buttons on your phone, and once your phone is in place, you can adjust the mount to align perfectly to your phone's lens, as they do offer a wide-angle lens you can mount to change your regular lens to a more fuller lens. But why you you ask when you already have a built-in wide lens? Well, less distortion, a faster lens on the 1X, and the bigger the lens, the more pro you look. Everything is held in surprisingly securely with a built-in handle for easy gripping, and almost too many ways to mount accessories with a hot shoe and 5 quarter 20 threaded mounts. Of course, you can totally skip the add-on lenses completely too, and just use the grip as a comfortable way to shoot, but you'd be wasting its potential. So let's see what we can do. 
some tripod legs, a flash, and external battery for some extended shooting. This is good, sure, or just go crazy with a GoPro, LED lighting, and even an external mic. Attach on a tripod mount and get some super steady shots with a full-fledged tripod. Don't forget, you still have two more mounts to utilize if you really have money to burn. The whole grip is made of a hardened plastic and metal rods. Everything feels sturdy, nothing is loosey-goosey like it'll break off easily, and it really does live up to its name. A true beast of a grip, for a beast of a price. Finally, with all these new accessories, you need a way to organize them. That's where the Bellroy Tech Kit comes in. This pouch is just beautiful, boxy looking, and made from recycled woven fabric. But it's really the small details and craftsmanship that allow you to really appreciate it though. Unzipping and opening flat, you've got quite a few options to stay organized. Two large and stretchy mesh pockets on one side, a full-size magnetic slip pocket that expands on demand, mini floating secret pockets behind that for smaller items, and a plethora of elastic straps for cables and pens. You can pack this up with your new printer, some batteries, your expensive earphones, and any other daily essentials. Zip close, the Bellwork Tech Pouch keeps everything safe thanks to its stiffened structure. I personally trust it to take a beating in my bag. Plus, it lays flat and doesn't bulge out thanks to the smart expanding pockets within. Everything is easily accessible and visible when opened up, so you can grab what you need without having to dig around. For a tech pouch, it just feels really nice, which is weird to say and even weirder to constantly be feeling up. But it's definitely a pouch you won't be afraid to take out and show off either. Don't forget to use my code and save some moolah on this damn clean looking dog. Details in the description down below. Links to everything I mentioned there as well, but let me know in the comments what your favorite accessory is, whether in this video or something you own personally. I rest my dock.